Hey, this is Presh Towalker. Four kids were experimenting with a weighing scale. As each did not want the others to know their individual mass, they agreed to weigh three people at a time. After trying all possible combinations, they kept getting the same four readings on the weighing scale. The readings were 63, 66, 69, and 72 kilograms. Each person wanted to keep his weight a secret, but they had a problem. They then realized the group weighings provided too much information. So the question to you is what is the mass of each child? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we figure this out? Let's say we start out with four weights of A, B, C, and D. Without any loss of generality, we can say A is less than B is less than C is less than D. So now let's take a look at the different ways we can weigh three people at a time. So one possibility is the lightest three people. This will be A plus B plus C. Another way that we could weigh the three people will be A plus B plus D. Now let's take a look at these two different values. These two expressions only differ in the very last term. We have A plus B in both expressions, but one expression has plus C and another has plus D. But we know that C is less than D. So we can confidently say the second expression is larger than the first expression. Another way that we could weigh the three people is A plus C plus D. Now let's compare these two expressions. They only differ by their middle terms. In the second equation, we have B, and in the third equation, we have C. But we know that B is less than C, so we can confidently say the third equation is larger than the second. We finally have one more way that we can weigh them. This will be B plus C plus D. Now these two expressions only differ in the first term, but we know that A is less than B, so the final expression has to be a larger value. We can also verify these are the only four ways the kids could have weighed themselves in groups of three. This is because four choose three is exactly equal to four. So there are four ways that you could pick a set of three objects from a set of four objects. So these are the only possibilities. Since each equation below is larger than the equation above it, we know that we will have increasing weights as we go down. So we will take the four values of 63, 66, 69, and 72, and we know that we can order these numbers according to the ordering of these expressions. The smallest number will go to the top, and then we just keep increasing the numbers. So we have four equations. A plus B plus C is equal to 63, A plus B plus D is equal to 66, A plus C plus D is equal to 69, and B plus C plus D is equal to 72. We have four equations in four variables, and you can solve for each variable. But there's a nice trick in this problem. Notice that between these four equations, we have three values of A. We also have three values of B between these four equations, three values of C, and three values of D. That's because in each equation, one person is being left out. So if we have four equations, one person is left out in just one of them, so each person appears in three of the weighings. So what does that mean? If we add up all four of these equations, we will get three of each value. So we will have 3a plus 3b plus 3c plus 3d, and that will be equal to the sum of 63, 66, 69, and 72, and that is equal to 270. So since we have three of each value, we have three times the sum of all of the four kids' weights is equal to 270. 
dividing both sides of the equation by 3, we get the sum of their four weights is equal to 90. So how will this help us solve the problem? Let's take the sum of all four kids and subtract the sum of all of them but D. So we'll take the sum of A, B, and C. Well, this will of course be equal to D, but we also know the values. All of them will have a weight that's equal to 90, and A plus B plus C is equal to 63. So 90 minus 63 will be equal to 27, and that is the weight of D. So we figured out one value. We can do the same trick for the remaining three equations. We'll take the last equation, A plus B plus C plus D, and subtract out the second equation. This will give us the value for C. So we have 90 minus 66 is equal to 24, which equals C. Let's just continue for the next two equations. We take the sum of all four of them and we subtract out the sum of A, C, and D. We are left with the weight of B. So we have 90 minus 69 is equal to 21, which equals B. Finally, we subtract out the last equation. This will give us the weight of A. So we have 90 minus 72 is equal to 18, which equals the weight of A. So that is the final value. Therefore, we have A is equal to 18, B is equal to 21, C is equal to 24, and D is equal to 27. And that's the answer. Now, just for fun, I posed this question to three different AI tools. Let's see how they did. We'll start out with ChatGPT. ChatGPT aced the test. It actually approached the problem in exactly the same way that was presented in this video. It's set to sum up the four equations, then divide by three, and then subtract out each of the equations to recover each child's mass. So this is a perfect answer, and it is 100% correct. But if you were to pose this to Meta AI, you would have gotten a different story. It actually starts out with a decent approach, but then it makes an algebra mistake right here. So everything after the step will be incorrect, so it comes up with the wrong answer. So this is sort of the mixed bag you have with AIs right now, that sometimes it's going to give you a perfect answer, sometimes it's not going to get you the right answer. So you still have to be the intelligence that decides which AI tool is actually giving you a valid result. Now, I also posed this to Gemini, and I thought it was a very interesting analysis, and maybe some of you solved the problem in this way. It's said to look at the weighings, which are 63, 66, 69, and 72. This is actually an arithmetic sequence, and it's a pattern. So it thought that it could actually get a pattern from these weighings. So here's how Gemini solved the problem. It set up four equations, and then it noticed that between each equation, we have a three kilogram difference. Therefore, we can deduce that the masses of the children are in an arithmetic sequence where each time we're adding three kilograms. So we can substitute this back into one of the equations and then solve for the masses. So Google AI completely solved this question. So for scoring, two out of the three AI solved this question, and I guess two out of three ain't bad. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.